Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Capper and there's another video on Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, we're going to do a blind look at the live arena changes that have been uh, posted onto YouTube on the Raid Shadow Legends channel. I have not watched them. I've been working for the last couple days out of town. I just got back about an hour and a half ago, hour ago. Uh, we chatted on Chosen's uh, live stream a little bit. And now, uh, as well as of course getting work done. But now we're going to do a little video here. Uh, reacting to the live arena preview, uh, just I, again, I apologize for my lighting. I'm in the middle of changing some things around in this room, uh, my my workspace, as it were, and uh, we're working on it, but it's a work in progress. So uh, it'll be done next week, maybe. But in the meantime, we're gonna get a little bit dark here. Also, uh, my hat is downstairs. My, my so we're wearing this one. In the meantime, go crack it. Uh, let's go. We're going to watch this, uh, live preview, uh, and of, of the arena. So let's bring it right up here. Boom. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our newest update preview, where we'll be sure. That's not loud enough, is it? Shining a light on one of our go. most highly anticipated features. Prepare to enter the live arena. As always, let's cover the basics first. Live Arena is a new arena mode where you can engage in real-time PvP battles against other players. While that's incredibly awesome by itself, Live Arena also comes with new quests. Uh, I'm putting my money on player 17. I feel like that's a real... ...new artifact sets, as well as a Great Hall expansion, where you can use special Live Arena crests you earn from winning battles to... Fact so let's, sets. let's go back here. Let's go back a second. What are we getting? While that's incredibly awesome by itself, Live Arena also comes with new quests. New, new quests. Sure. New All artifact right. sets, as well as a Great Hall expansion. where you. The Great Hall expansion uh, gives us something to do with the Great Hall. I think they're going to allow us convert. Is that how that worked for the new art? Anyway, let's you can use special Live Arena crests you earn from winning battles to unlock additional bonuses. I know. I'm excited too. See, I called it. I told you player 17 was going to beat Blumon. Bloom, Blumen. You'll unlock Live Arena once you reach level 50. And Can we talk? I mean, this is not for nothing, but some of the levels that they unlock this sort of stuff, like if you have Hydra unlocked at what, 43? If you can do Hydra at level 43, um, you're probably a spender and you're probably going to be 43 for like two seconds. They really need to push that content past to 50 or 60. But this is a little bit different because I'm guessing you're going to be against similar. And it'll be open several times a day. Our first idea was to have this as an always on feature. But in development, we found it caused problems finding matches quickly and reliably. So our plan is to open Live Arena on a set daily schedule so we can ensure you won't have huge wait times when finding a match. To make sure everything's working correctly ahead of its grand opening, we'll be running a Live Arena test launch with a limited group of players. You can see the schedule for this test on screen now. As for the full... Hold on. Oh, there's, oh sorry. This is, a this is just a test schedule. I was going to say... That <laughs> seems very UTC-centric. That seems very Euro-centric, but okay. ...on screen now. As for the full launch, here's the schedule on screen. Live Arena will open in two-hour windows, which should give you more than enough time to yeah, get like your battles that. in. Remember, the full launch schedule is... Uh, they had this in Diablo Immortal. Uh, the arena opened up every um, so many hours. Also in... Uh, what was the what was the big one? The big uh, pay-to-win MMO. And it was in that one as well. Um, the, the name's escaping me. That makes sense, right? Because you want to get as many people involved as possible to get the best breadth of of opponent you don't want to play the same opponent a hundred times so if you make everyone go in these little windows then you'll have it's more concentrated it, it's, it's a standard to change and we'll of course let you know if and when it does enough talk how do i start fighting like classic oh. or tag arena initiating yeah. a live arena battle costs a live arena token you can have a maximum of five you got five, so five battles a day. Five at any given time, and you can purchase a refill with gems if you run out. Each new refill will cost more than the last one, though both the refill price and your default Live Arena tokens reset each day at midnight UTC. So your tokens are burning a hole in your pocket. Let's get to the juicy PvP fun. Once yeah. you hit the Find Opponent button, 
the game will find a worthy combatant of a similar skill level within your current live arena tier. To make matchmaking as fair as possible, match... Okay. Public service announcement. Don't bitch. Don't... This is going to take time. Um, for example, in Lost Ark, that was the name of the the MMO Lost Ark, which had way more players concurrent that were actively involved. I wouldn't say than than Raid has accounts, but certainly active in the moment, I, when it, especially in the first month of release. And it still took several minutes because it has to uh, take into account your, um, I'm going to say hidden player power because I don't think they just use your, your overall player power to match. They've got a some kind of algorithm that they're going to do to match like opponents so that you're not fighting poor green people though part of me thinks that you should do more of a ladder tier so the poor people get <laughs> beat on until they settle into their bad anyway so this could take several minutes now the one thing i don't like about this which you were able to do in diablo immortal and in uh lost Ark, because you can go do stuff uh and in this i don't know if we'll be able to it looks like we're just here um, so in Diablo Immortal, I could queue up and then I could go run around and, and upgrade my armor, do kind of stuff. That's not going to be a matter if I get pulled out. Um, so obviously they're not doing that. It's a little bit harder to do it in this style of game, Matches are found based on, but if they could, so I could at least go back to my screen and do basic stuff. I couldn't go into another mode, but I could maybe play on the Ford or upgrade artifacts or sell or, you know, that sort of thing. I think that would be better on both your average and most recent performance data once you're matched with a suitable yeah, opponent performance you're on to data. the first phase of battle this is where you pick your champions and where the mind games truly begin a coin flip decides who picks first and then each player takes a turn picking champions from their roster both players go back and forth until they both have a team of five then each player gets to ban a single champion from the i think it'd be cooler if they had ban phases closer to league of legends and or dota uh, in captain's matches where you could actually have banned phases, but maybe that's a bit a bit much. I just thought it was fun if you could pick two, ban one, pick three, ban one, or something like that, but whatever. The opposing team. That means that champion won't be taking part in the battle, bringing teams down to four. In bronze and silver tiers, you can use duplicate champions. Once you hit gold, though, all champion picks must be unique across both teams. Mm. That means... That's it. So bronze, silver, you can use dupes after that. You can't, which makes sense uh, because I would just put in double hedgy if I wanted to use hedgy or I could put in triple or double anyone just to make sure that go ahead and ban me. But here's the key in bronze and silver as I just in, my, in the moment, if I see someone put in a double duchess to goad me into banning duchess, I won't have your two duchesses. I'll, I'll bring in a double block revive and then uh, ban your, you know, ban, ban your ban your nuker or something. So there'll be a little bit of uh, gamesmanship in that. I think that dupe should be allowed, uh, period. Because what what dupe could possibly, like, what could that possibly do? So if you're bringing in, say I bring in double Kyokus, right? Or sorry, um, Yumikos. Um, or if I bring in a Warlord Yumiko, what's the difference? Or I bring in double Warlord. Uh, or, and then, so, I mean, the tactic I would say is the alt other team is either, well, I better be faster than them or, okay, you're going to bring in that double. I'm going to let you have both your warlords and I'm going to bring in a one heroes, you know, ta champions that can do a lot of damage or get turns off of a one like Rodos, for example, or, or Phoenix. So I think, I think they're not allowing duplicates. I understand why they do it. I'm not opposed to it, but I don't think it really matters. Um, Probably more to the free of play mid game, but the late game players, I don't think it'll matter. There's no much. duplicate champions at I wonder all. If I could, you can use all sorts of devious light. tricks during this phase. This Conceal your intended strategy. Pick no, decoy champions weird. to trick your opponent into banning a champion yeah. you weren't going to use. Deliberately pick champions to take them off the table for your opponent. The possibilities are endless. Just be aware that these same tricks are being used against you. Finally, each player selects their team leader. As with all other game modes, the team leader's aura skill will empower the rest of your champions. So choose carefully. Don't take too long considering your strategy. Each of these phases has a time limit and the game will decide for you if the time runs out. Once the teams are locked in, it's time to battle. 
In terms of the battles themselves, there's no mechanical difference between Live Arena and Classic Arena. The turn order of champions is determined by their speed stat and various turn Rumble's not wearing gear. skills. And each champion takes a turn and uses skills like they always do. But while the mechanics may be the same, you're now fighting a real human instead of an AI. So be prepared for anything. Watch the clock when choosing your skills. You've got 15 seconds to make your choice. If you don't decide in time, well, the game will. Fail to take your turn three times in a row, and you'll go into auto battle mode until you assume direct control. There's an overall time limit for every battle, assume too. Direct Fail control. to finish within 30 minutes, and both players will be credited with... Bonus points if someone can call out where that came from. Assuming direct control. A loss. Stalling isn't a viable strategy, and you'll want to fight as many live arena battles as you can while it's open. Now, let's take a look at why you'll you want to play, play live arena. Whoa. As as many as you can, as in the five tokens you get a day, unless you're buying more ge more with gems, which costs resources, which makes the money. Okay, just so we're all on the same page. If the thrill of testing yourself against real people wasn't enough, winning live arena battles gets you live arena points and live arena crests. We'll go on to crests in a minute. As for points, earning these will see you advance through the different live arena tiers, from bronze to gold. For now, there's no platinum tier. Once you reach silver one, losing battles will lose you points. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that those chests look a lot. Maybe it's just the graphic. They look a lot like those new chests that they added to the game, which the highest tier chests can either get you something really good or 100,000 silver points. If you don't fight at least one live arena battle for five days, you'll start to lose five live arena points each day until you fight another battle. There are also repeatable live arena quests that give you various rewards, including a live arena token refill and new artifacts. On top of that, we have multiple one-time rewards for reaching certain point milestones, ranging from a fancy new avatar to even a legendary champion. Speaking of artifacts, Quintus. let's pause and take a closer look at the new sets available from live arena. Quintus, isn't that Quintus Aurelius? Isn't that one of, isn't that the, uh arena impulse and zeal impulse artifacts increase your champion speed and provide a chance of reducing the cooldown of a random skill by Ooh. one turn it's a great set for 30%. nukers healers pretty much anyone with skills you want to use as often as possible then we have zeal artifacts they increase the champion's critical damage by 25 percent and have them dealing more damage if they're so the zeal is reflex plus speed or oh, sorry the the last one right impulse why didn't that change impulse yeah impulse is reflex plus speed in a four person set so it's clearly better it's just it's just objectively better i i, I don't i guess i know why they didn't do a two person set because i do like i think they need to keep adding two two piece sets uh they could have done 15 percent per but i guess then you get 45 and they don't like it maybe it was 10 10 per 10 and 5 percent speed so if you did do a triple i don't know still really like it uh i don't i like reflex sets and i hate um ice cold so i the set will be for me the best one. healers pretty much anyone with skills you want to use as often as possible then we have so zeal zeal oops. artifacts they increase the champions crit so it's crit damage instead of 30 it's 25 but you also get plus 7.5 percent damage for every 25 percent hp they have So that's 30% damage at full health. If that works with Hydra, this could be a good Hydra set. I mean, it's generally a good damage set. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical. Am I right or am I calling that out wrong? Because um, it's, it's a four-piece set, whereas crit damage, you get 20% for two. I said 30. I meant 20. It was 20 in my head. Just... What I'm thinking now, what I'm saying. So it's 20% for two. So 40% for four instead of 25. So you're leaving 15% crit damage, but you're actually getting 7.5% damage. Now, is that reduced damage or is that pure damage? Is that just plus 7.5 or whatever damage you would have gotten? I, I assume it's not pure. I assume it's uh, a multiplier on top of your current damage. So if you do 10 grand... You'll do an extra 750. 
Is 30% extra damage enough? I guess if you're talking like Baron, if you put him, but I would, I think Savage is better, isn't it? I'm okay. This will, this will have to play around. Be I, I, I feel like this is a PVE set. I feel like I wouldn't want to put my Nuker in this. I'd want to keep with Savage, but like Clan Boss, right? Because Clan Boss Savage is overtuned. It, it's diminishing returns. You're better off getting better stats than using Savage in the Clan Boss because its defense is so low. But if you put this on your nuker in clan boss objectively speaking although you'd have to hit it at full health but hydra even where you're getting renewed heads so you're going to be doing more damage off those heads at the beginning and even at the bottom you're getting 7.5 for every so you're getting 7.5 extra damage even when they're low health plus the 25 percent crit damage and then you add, maybe you add a cruel set to that for 5% ignore defense. And then maybe you have cruelty. Is it cruelty that reduces defense? You know, I think, okay, okay, okay. I'm here. I'm present. damage by 25% and have them dealing more damage if... I don't, let me know in the comments down below. Would you use this in PvP? I feel like the answer is no. But I, th I mean, on a single hit nuke... Like a multi-hit, maybe not. Like I'm thinking Rotos, who already does 60% ignore defense on his A3, is it? Then you could put this on him and it would just get more damage, right? So that might be worthwhile rather than putting him in Savage gear. There's a lot of defense-based champions in the game, though, that are really good in right now in Arena. Let me know in the comments down below. If their target still has high Sorry. HP. It should give your attackers and nukers a little extra punch to take down champions in one shot. Both these sets will be available in the reward chests you get for winning 35 live arena battles. This is a regular quest, so you'll be able to farm these artifacts so long as you keep winning. Finally, let's return to those shiny live arena crests. You can spend the crests you win in live arena battles to unlock area bonuses in the Great Hall. Here's how they work. Live arena crests come in bronze, silver, and gold just like classic arena medals. The first three levels of any area bonus are upgraded with bronze crests. Levels four <laughs> to six need so- Notice how they, notice how they, 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 what is that? Isn't that double? Isn't it, didn't it used to be 1,000 to get there? Now it's 2,000? Yeah, that's funny. So, so to get crit damage, to get top, it would be 1,000 medals to get 25% crit damage in any affinity right in in the great hall this one to get that same it's to get 30 percent crit damage in hydra you can get it uh there's pve content i like i i like this i like this i know that some people are still gonna say look people are gonna spend money they're gonna you know the whales be whales, but that the whales will always be whales. There's no game in in the gotcha world where whales won't be whales. So this gives everyone an opportunity to work towards goals, and it gives you objective extra damage. And if and and if you want to do Hydra, say you're free to play. Now if you're a whale, you're spending on all this. You're doing it in all the set areas. But if you if you're if you're Victor Tez, are you going to go right into Demon Lord to set up to do 2.5? billion damage on the clan boss or hydra battles if you're odd one or you know what where are you focusing where do you where do you need that help oh you know what i'm struggling in spider i'm a new player i can't quite kill the spider so maybe i can get extra speed or extra accuracy or whatever it might be so i don't mind this i don't mind this at all silver and everything else needs gold you can also use higher tier crests to unlock lower tier bonuses just like with classic arena medals you might also notice that with the introduction of area bonuses, the old bonuses earned by spending arena medals have had a name change. These are now called affinity bonuses. Who in the sweet lord is player 17? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting unplugged up. Uh, who the heck is set player 17? That player 17? Is, that, is this still player 17? With 34,000? I only have like 20, 24,000 because as the name suggests they boost Something the stats suspicious. of champions of a specific affinity we'll give you three guesses as to what area bonuses do that's right they boost the stats of any champion but only in specific locations for example upgrading the attack bonus slot so we got the potion, potion keeps, keeps ice cold, so it's all okay you guessed it it's all the dungeons Increase your champions attack and when fighting in the boss. potion keeps area bonus i couldn't help but notice i 
I couldn't help but notice there's no Iron Twins and there's no Sand Devil. Bonuses will also give you the option to increase your chance. Unless you can go further down. And even give them the ability to ignore a portion of enemy defense. Remember the hard mode dungeons we talked about in the previous What's Next in Raid episode? Area bonuses will be a huge help in farming those locations. And the best thing? Area bonuses apply to a champion's base stat directly, just like affinity bonuses. Add all these bonuses together, and you'll be super strong when fighting in certain locations. Bosses, fear my wrath. Okay, that's all there is to tell about Live Arena for now. We can't wait to see the changes to Raid's PvP scene, and we hope you all have a blast. We want to add a few things in future iterations, so keep an eye. I thought they were going to give us something for our for our our uh, gold level arena medals, affinity medals. I thought they were going to let us convert. Are they going to let us convert them over? They didn't say. Eye on the news too. Until then, hit like and subscribe to keep on top of new videos. Happy raiding! You can't tell me what to do. Okay, well, uh, final thoughts. Uh, I think that's. A seven minute and I did 21 so I talked three times as much as he did that sounds about right by the way you can also see what I normally listen look at that Deadwood Jedi uh, I watch this is my this is my right-wing conspiracy I need to get my wheel I'm surprised uh, what's his name Andrew Hayes or something there I have a left-wing version of, of Brett Cooper as well I let I watch both of them you figure if I watch both of them and meld them together I get good central uh, political information uh, tech tip, Linus Tech Tips, good Canadian boy. Uh, bio games, uh, yeah, CoffeeZilla, very good, very good. Interesting. I'm sure you guys don't care. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I I mean, it's all in the Im implementation, right? Like, it looks good. I like I like that they're doing it five times. Uh, they're, they're giving you that kind of window in order to, to play. Uh, it makes sense why they're doing it, and I 100% behind it. I, I like the Great Hall. I can't... I mean, I know, again, the Great Hall doesn't do anything for the arena, which this does. So I think having the having the extra in content in the game, uh, the boss clan bosses and dungeons, except for Twin Fortress and Sand Devil, which is a little bit curious they didn't do that. And, of course, this will be whatever the uh, accessories will be. Um interesting that they chose not to, not to include those two like do we really need potion dungeon bonuses like these are the easiest content other than maybe minotaur in the in this whole area why would we want bonuses there we need the bonus in sand devil we need the bonus in arcane keep not the potion dungeons so that seems a little bit weird but whatever i mean it's, who cares um so so i don't think there's anything in balance there like most most people have hard mode ready to go. Like I have my stage 10 hard mode, spider den stage 10 hard mode, uh, dragon. I haven't really farmed it since, but I do have a hard mode. I think mine's a little bit slower than that. Now, uh, fire night. I've gotten to, I think nine, <laughs> I think I'm at not, Oh, a hey, stage eight, eight minutes. I manualed it. while on well, uh, during a stream. Um, so yeah, maybe this will help here. Get some extra speed to, to get past this content. Um, so I, I like that, all that, I, I, there's nothing I don't like about it. I, th I think it'll be interesting to see the implementation. Will I be fighting the same people all the time? Um, how, how bad will it spread out and how quickly will it fan out where you're end up? Like my worry is that people in the early, the bronze silver won't be, it's not there. They'll be there not because they're, they're earlier players is because they're inactive players. So you'll have someone like me at two 20 million player power who just isn't active in it. And then, so they're fighting in silver two and they're absolutely destroying these poor saps, uh, who are, who are new at the game and they're trying to progress and they've just made it to silver two. Then suddenly they have some jerk like me come in and, and dominate just because I'm lazy. Right? Like I worry a bit about, about that. Um, I don't like that you can buy the tokens, um, I think you should be able to earn an extra an extra refill, and that's it. And, and I only say that because I don't want you know I don't have to face Smiley thirty times in the arena. And that's the other thing is 
I suspect there'll be enough in the gold tiers of the high end players that there will be variants. But because we all play in different time zones, I'm curious as to what that'll look like. Will it be more advantageous to play in the morning? Are the Euro players easier or harder? Uh, is it midday when it's say midday here and early morning there? Is that going to be the best time? Because, you know, both European and North American, it's kind of not the optimal time. Will weekends be harder? Will weekdays be easier? Like that, I'm, I'm interested in all that. Um, and it, does it, did it feel, I feel like it was the latter in that I don't think I didn't see their reset, which I hope if there's no reset. That'd be nice. Cause so it's a ladder match and you, and if you don't play for a while, you start dropping and then you can get back up. I like that idea. I like it being, you know, Hey, when you win 35 times, you get a chest, but I'm a little bit worried about that because so if I win 35 times and I'm in gold, I get the gold chest. Uh, if I'm in silver and I win 34 of those into gold and the 35th wins in gold, what do I get? Do I not get either because now I'm reset to one of the new chests or do I get the old chest? But wait a minute, I just want one in gold. There's some things that I want to see. But overall, I think it's going to be a fun implementation and I think it's an added piece to the game. Um, my one criticism, my one actual criticism based on not having played it, but I see based on their mechanic is... Uh, can you, I, I don't want to have to come into here. Like sometimes in battlegrounds in Diablo immortal, you'd wait for five, eight minutes. Right. And I don't want to have to go into here and just stare at this screen for eight minutes when I could be, I could be over doing other stuff, right? Like I could be, you know, clear up my market and get into the forge, build forge things. And then maybe I want to want to work on it. And I built them champion so I can come down here and work on my, I built them champion. Like for example, the champion that's very likely to be next in the, I built them. So you don't have to series, perhaps Skimfos. like, you know, I can do those sort of things. So it would be nice to do non, non, non area content while I'm waiting. Uh, I would rather it have like live arena pops up and you see where clan versus clan live arena is there. I wish I could just clan it, queue it, exit, and it and it goes in the background and I can do other stuff. But uh, other than that, I'm really excited. What about you? Are you excited? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as always, be kind, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.